Ladies and gentlemen, as always, your host, EG Flames, here bringing you, ladies and gentlemen, my predictions for WWE Money in the Bank 2019. Now, ladies and gentlemen, before we get into the predictions, I just got to say the road to Money in the Bank was very, very, very disappointing. The There was no qualifying matches for the Money in the Bank ladder matches when... They had so many weeks to build up to the pay-per-view and they didn't even use any of them to, for qualifying matches, what I, which I think was ridiculous. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I had to say. Let's go right into the predictions with the first match on the card. It is for the WWE Cruiserweight title. We got Tony Nese defending against Arya Davari in the kickoff show, which again, how are we supposed to be a bigger fan of 205 Live if, it's, if a title match is going to be in the kickoff show? Like... In my opinion, I feel like there should not be any matches in the kickoff show. And the reason why is because the kickoff show is just for for the people to talk about the matches that are coming up. And that you should go to the WWE Network. So, again, I don't think this match should be on the kickoff show. But, anyway, the prediction, I'm going to go with Tony Nese to retain the cruiserweight title and the reason why is because I can see this rivalry continuing possibly even into extreme rules and maybe even past that I just think the end of the rivalry will be Ari Divari ending up with the cruiserweight title but I'm gonna say Tony Nese probably rolls up and steals the win I do not think it will be like a 450 and then it's over I don't think there's gonna be any like finisher finishing the match so yeah my prediction Tony Nese for retaining the WWE Cruiserweight title. The next match, it is for the WWE SmackDown Live Tag Team titles. Daniel Bryan and Rowan defending against the Usos. Now, before I get into it, this is also a kickoff show match. And the problem I have with this is that the Usos are on Raw and they're fighting for the SmackDown Tag Titles. I know it's going to be a great match, probably. I think it's going to possibly steal the kickoff show. But, um... The only problem I have with this is that the Usos are on Raw and they're fighting for a SmackDown tag title. I don't think the wild card rule should be, even be a thing. I think they should just have better storylines. You know what I mean? But ladies and gentlemen, my prediction is Daniel Bryan and Rowan retaining the SmackDown tag team titles. Because why would a Raw star win a SmackDown title? I just don't see it happening. And I see possibly SmackDown tag titles and Money in the Bank being... The newer kind of organic titles. I like that gimmick. So hopefully they do that. But ladies and gentlemen, let's move into the next match on the card. It is for the WWE United States Heavyweight Championship. Samoa Joe defending against Rey Mysterio. Now this rivalry has been okay, I would say. I think there could have been a better build. I feel like it's going to be a great match. I think it's going to possibly even steal the show. Not possibly, but like maybe one of the top five best matches on the night, but I'm going to go out and say Samoa Joe retains the title or at least just gets a disqualification or something. I don't know. I just see this rivalry continuing. I just think all these matches should, con all these rivalries on the card should continue at least. So I'm going to say Samoa Joe retains the United States title and possibly continues his reign as the U.S. champion going to SummerSlam. But that's just my opinion. So, ladies and gentlemen, my prediction, Samoa Joe retaining the U.S. title. The next match, it is a steel cage match. The Miz versus the best in the world, Shane McMahon. Now, this is going to be a great match because you don't know Shane McMahon, steel cage equals amazing match, high fly. Hopefully, nobody gets hurt. But anyway... This is going to be a great match. I just see, I, I, I think their false count anywhere match was very, very impressive. I thought it was great, and I think this storyline should continue. So I'm gonna say that Shane McMahon picks up the win, and I think they should have another match at WWE Super Showdown on June 7th in Saudi Arabia. That's just my opinion. I just don't see this rivalry ending anytime soon. So my prediction: Shane McMahon winning the Steel Cage match. The next match, it is the least exciting match, in my opinion, uh, Elias versus Roman Reigns. Now, obviously, the build was ridiculous. It's more like Roman Reigns versus the Authority at this point. Even though I don't want to see this rivalry, I'm going to just get the prediction out of the way, and that's Roman Reigns winning the match just to get a face to win for once because Roman Reigns not beating Elias is, like, terrible, honestly. So, my prediction is Roman Reigns beating Elias. 
the next match, it is the women's money in the bank ladder match. From Raw, Naomi, Natalia, Dana Brooke, and not Alexa Bliss because it was just announced that Alexa Bliss is not medically cleared to fight at Money in the Bank. So, who will be her replacement? I just think it's Nikki Cross. They're not going to make it a huge surprise. They always fool us thinking it's going to be a surprise, but it's not. It's just going to be Nikki Cross. And from SmackDown, it's going to be Bayley, Mandy Rose, Ember Moon, and Carmella. Now, I think this match is going to be great. I think it's going to have a lot of amazing spots with the amount of superstars that are in this match. Now, who do I think is going to win? Who do I think is going to win? And who, from Raw or SmackDown, who's going to win the ladder match? To be honest, I think that... To be honest, I think it's going to be Mandy Rose to win to win the Money in the Bank contract. Now, a lot of people think it's going to be Bailey, but I don't think so. I feel like there's going to be a rivalry between Mandy Rose and Becky Lynch in the future with Mandy Rose cashing in on Becky Lynch. That's just my opinion. I think Mandy Rose deserves to win the Money in the Bank contract and bringing it back to SmackDown Live. That's just my opinion. So my prediction, Mandy Rose winning the women's Money in the Bank contract. The next match. It is the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. Now, there's been a lot of changes to the match. Uh, first of all, Braun Strowman's no longer in the match. It's actually Sami Zayn, which I'm, I'm really, really, really happy about, actually. They should have done these kind of matches earlier with the qualifying. Like, it could have been Braun Strowman versus Sami Zayn as a qualifying match, and Sami won. You know what I mean? I think that should have been what it should, what the qualifying match should have been. But that's just my, that's just my opinion. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen... It, in this match, from Raw, Ricochet, Drew McIntyre, Baron Corbin, and Sami Zayn. From SmackDown, Finn Balor, Ali, Andrade, and Randy Orton. Who do I think is going to win, and which roster is it going to go to? To be honest, I do not think Drew McIntyre is going to win the Money in the Bank contract, and the reason why is because Vince McMahon is focusing on SmackDown and Fox, because they are currently scheduled to move to Fox in October, and I think they want to make it a 100% better show. So I think a SmackDown star is going to win the Money in the Bank contract this year. And who do I think is going to win the Money in the Bank contract this year? None other than Andrade. Now, the reason why I think Andrade should win is because uh, a lot of people think he's going to be feuding with Finn Balor for the IC title. I think he will be, but as Mr. Money in the Bank, because I could see him do something huge, which is cash in of the money in the bank contract on i don't know roman reigns in the future maybe he'll be wwe champion in the future i just see a lot of potential with both money in the bank contracts on smackdown i just don't see anything needed on raw with the money in the bank contract but ladies and that's just my opinion my prediction on Day winning the men's money in the bank contract the next match it is for the smackdown live women's championship we got becky two belts aka becky lynch Defending against Charlotte Flair for the 1,000th time. But I don't care because it's going to be a great match anyway. Now, who, now Becky Lynch again is defending her title twice in one night. Now, who do I think is going to win between Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair? To be honest, I think that Becky Lynch is going to retain the title. And basically hold on to the SmackDown title for a while. I do not see Charlotte Flair becoming a nine-time women's champion this quickly. They need to make her out of the main event picture. Honestly, like, make her fight like Sonya Deville or Ember Moon or Bailey for now, just because I think there needs to be more rivalries besides Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch. So my prediction, Becky Lynch retaining the SmackDown Women's title. The next match, it is for the Raw Women's title. Becky Lynch defending the title against Lacey Evans. Now, this is going to be a heck of a match. I thought the storyline was one of the best uh, out of all the storylines in the Money in the Bank pay-per-view card. Now, I think Becky Lynch is also going to be retaining here, and the rivalry will continue between Lacey Evans and Becky Lynch because I just don't see Becky Lynch losing the Raw Women's title this quickly. She's literally just had the title for over a month now and hasn't even defended it yet, so I think she needs to retain the Raw Women's title and go in to the next pay-per-view which is stomping grounds or extreme rules right so i'm going to say becky lynch retains both raw and smackdown women's titles the next match it is for the wwe world championship 
Kevin Owens is challenging Kofi Kingston for the title. Now, this storyline has been great. I think one of the best on SmackDown Live, actually. I think it is the best on SmackDown Live. Now, who do I think is going to win? First of all, I feel like there's been rumors that Big E is going to return to the pay-per-view, but I don't think that's going to happen. That's just my opinion. I feel like maybe the next... Time maybe in WWE Super Showdown, that's going to happen. That's just my opinion, though. Now, who do I think is going to win? I feel like it's going to be Kofi Kingston winning by the ref, getting knocked out, and doesn't see the roll-up kick out by Kevin Owens, and he keeps counting, and Kofi retains. That's just how I see it. I just don't see Kevin Owens winning the WWE title. Yeah, I see him winning it against Kofi in the future, though. I definitely see that happening. So my prediction, Kofi Kingston retaining the WWE World Championship. And ladies and gentlemen, the main event of this card, it is for the WWE Universal Championship. Seth Rollins defending against the number one contender, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Now, this has been a dream match for me since AJ Styles came to WWE. Now, we've seen this match before in the indies, though. But we've never seen it in the WWE. And to make this match more prestigious, I think it's great that the Universal title is on the line. Now, who do I think is going to win? Before I say anything, I think AJ Styles is turning heel at Money in the Bank. I just, it's pretty obvious, honestly, in my opinion. This rivalry has been a little... No, it's like it's like Shinsuke Nakamura versus AJ Styles at WrestleMania, that kind of rivalry. But the match will be a banger. I just, I know it's going to be a banger because Seth Rollins, no matter what match he's in, he's going to make it a banger. AJ Styles, it's not exactly the same. AJ Styles puts great matches as long as the other wrestler puts a great match. Now, both of these men will make a, a, a tremendous match. Now, who do I think is going to win the Universal title? I think that... Seth Rollins will retain. AJ Styles will turn heel. This rivalry continues into WWE Super Showdown. Shoot, showdown. I can't talk. But anyway, a lot of people think AJ Styles is going to win thanks to the help of Gallows and Anderson. But Gallows and Anderson are leaving the WWE. So, I don't see that happening. But ladies and gentlemen, those were my predictions for the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Again, Seth Rollins retaining the Universal title, in my opinion. No cash-ins on the same night. I don't see it happening. But ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed my Money in the Bank predictions. If you did, make sure to smash the like on this video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Follow me on my social medias, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. And ladies and gentlemen, it has been your host, EG Flames, bringing you the Money in the Bank predictions. And he is out.